Well, good morning, good evening, good day, internet. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is a very fun day. It is going to be a chaotic day. I am expecting absolute madness down in the comment section below because today we are ranking our favorite characters in Zenless Zone Zero thus far because I have had nine days to play with these characters and to be honest I have my favorite I have my least favorites and I have things that are in between and so today we're gonna figure out who is the best amongst them who is absolutely average in every way imaginable guess we'll just find out but I want to make one thing clear real quick we are not ranking any of these characters off of their gameplay mechanics at all but this is a completely opinionated piece that is going solely off of looks solely off of the feel would they be someone that i would go out and have a coffee with would they be someone that i invite over to play video games with would they be someone that i invite to six flags and go on a roller coaster and eventually cry because i lose my hat on the ride we're going to find that out but if you're coming here for absolute meta gameplay rankings this is not it so click off this video go find something else this is purely just for the lulz and so without further ado let's get into the video if you like this stuff and want to see more like this be sure to leave a subscribe down below so that way you can stay updated on any videos that we make now all right okay so now here we are let's start with amb and so amb for me is going to be very 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 middle of the road you meet her in the beginning of the game she is one of your three that you start with and she's good i don't think she's great and i don't think she's bad i like the design with her green hoodie and whatever the backpack is that's going on on there I, I thought that it was charging up her weapon i'm not entirely sure but i really like what's going on there i'm not so sure about the color green i don't know if it does well with her i would like to see maybe somebody can make a design of like her with like maybe a blue because she is a shock character i don't know i'm not really sitting all that well with green apart from that she looks great and her personality in game is really good I like it a lot. Ambie looks like the type of friend where she's a lot of fun to be around, but if you do not say anything to her, she will not say anything back to you. And it gets to a point where you're questioning if she really is your friend and she is your friend. It's just that she lacks the inability to start a conversation to save her life. And it's not that she doesn't have things to talk about. If you talk to her, she'll have things and opinions to say, but it's just that she will never, ever, ever engage you in those conversations in a, in a, in a personal vibe check. You've got to, you've got to be both the initiator and the recipient of a conversation starter you can't just have it be one or the other if you're too much of one then you're gonna feel bad but honestly i'm just gonna leave her at b tier for right now and we're gonna use her as like the median for where they are in relation to ambi and i think that's gonna be a good metric for us as we go forward and so let's let's go on to the next of the initial trio billy honestly i'm gonna put billy in a tier and here's why he's mysterious he's got this this Dante from Devil May Cry-esque aesthetic where he's just got two pistols where he's just blasting. He's got this nice long white hair that just flows outwards. He's got this mask and this cyborg, chiseled cyborg body, which I'm not sure why you have to define muscle on a cyborg body, but that's neither here nor there. But he has it going. And then he's got this cool red jacket that has this little sheriff badge on it. It's a neat design. It's good. And it makes me wonder, what's, what's beneath that mask? Is there anything beneath that mask? Or is he just a robot? There probably is somebody that knows this, but just off of my initial perception of him, I don't know if he actually is a human underneath that or if it's just all cyborg body. I'm going to leave him at A. I like him more than I like Ambi. I think Ambi's design is, is neat. Cool stuff going on, but I think as far as between her and Billy, I think I like Billy more than I like Ambi. You see, Billy looks like the type of person that I would get into trouble with, but like trouble that like we both mutually wanted to cause. I feel like with Billy, we would sit down, chill at his place, eating like Doritos and then like watching like, like professional Counter-Strike and then watch like Breaking Bad. I feel like he's a Breaking Bad guy. Overall good design. And I like his weapons too. I like the, I like the flow of his weapons in combat. Now let's, let's round off, let's round off our initial trio with Nicole. And I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because I feel like a lot of people want her in S tier. You know why? Because I think she has that personality where it's just... I don't want to say demon, but she has this personality that I think attracts a certain type of person. But that person is not me, and so I'm going to put her at A tier. But other than that, I think I like her a lot. I think that she's really good. She looks like in the same way with Billy. Like, she would get me into trouble, and things would happen. But I don't think she would take responsibility for what she did. I don't think that she would take responsibility. I don't think her vibes necessarily are that of responsible troublemaker i feel like she's just a little bit too childish and that's not the type of person i'm looking for i think i like her hair i like the little rabbit that she has on her hip 
I think that that's really cool. I love the design of her weapon. Her design reminds me of, uh, have you ever seen Ruby? There's this one character in Ruby who uses a weapon that's incredibly similar to that, and I love it. I think that that's really cool. Yeah, she's not S tier for me. I think that people will find her S tier. There's a word. You all know what the word is. If you don't know what the word is, you shouldn't know what the word is. But the people who know what the word is really like her because of that. And that's okay. We'll move on. Nekomata? Honestly, C tier. Honestly, I, I I could care less about her. She's just a cat. She's just a cat. Do you like cats? I like cats. I don't like cats in the game. But like, I mean, it's it's a cat. Like, it's it's just a cat. She has cat ears. She has a cat tail. She she makes awkward cat noises when she talks. They even comment on that in the game. They're like, why are you talking like that? I mean, if I want a cat, I could probably just go to Petco. Pro that's literally right across the street and just be like, can I can I look at your cats? Um, I don't need a cat like this i mean sure there are other furry scaly animals in this game but honestly a cat really really as far as everything else i mean like i think her outfit looks pretty cool i think it looks nice um i think it's a little bit more delicate than ambi's hoodie design i think she's got more of a feminine sort of look to her but overall i think that like her design is pretty cool i just I feel like they were going for a certain vibe with the uh, with the cat personality, and I don't know if that's really something that I want. Maybe maybe there's more to the story where she interacts and she'll grow on me as a character, but just off of pure vibes. And if you've done the story thus far, I mean, I haven't gotten to chapter two yet, but in chapter in the prologue and in chapter one, she's no, no. But honestly, it it is what it is. Anton, Anton. I like Anton. I love his weapon design. I love the little like arm mounted like drill that he's got going on in there. I love his aesthetic with his like with his cloak going and the red in his hair. I think that that's sick. Let me just pull up a picture real quick so I can get, look at him in all his glory. He's got the little wrench on the side too. Yeah, no, that's, oh, that's so cool. His personality is a little bit crazy too in the game. And also like the popped up collar that we got going on here. That's king level stuff. That's, oh. That, th just the energy that he's radiating is just, it's just like, I own this place. I am here. I, and this is, this is my time. Anton looks like the older brother who is also a middle child. Like he's older than you, but he's not the oldest. And so he has that like little like rebellious, you know, demeanor going on to him where he was like, my parents didn't really care about me as much. So then I dyed my hair red and then I got into heavy metal and I got into emo bands. And then, then I got this weapon because, because nobody else cares about me. And so if I have to defend myself to do it, then I'm going to. And then he like, he's got some trauma he's worked through. He's got some stuff that he's going to, you know, have to see for therapy, probably a lot, but you love him nonetheless. You know, and when he invites you over, you go out and you probably go clothes shopping the clothes stores either a mixture of just you know your generic you know graphic tea stores and then also like hot topic you know take that for what you will he enjoys both but he's also sensitive to the fact that you might not enjoy all the places that he enjoys to go to and so he will listen to where you want to go to more and i feel like he probably would be a really good listener if you're having a bad day he's like i understand i know what it's like you know i feel like he has a really good like like social eq i feel like he's a has a down path again i don't think that he's better than billy or nicole but i i really like what's going on here so it's solid a tier for me corin of the made characters you are the least of the there are better made characters than you b tier and let me explain when you meet her in game she's like this very she's very scatterbrained when you first meet her um she gives off this persona of being a a weak little girl and then she ends up just slicing through the side of this train car and just like absolutely decimating it and your character's like what did you just do i feel like overall her character is just lacking it's not giving the the energy that i would want to have with somebody in my party whereas with ambi ambi's a little bit quiet she has this reservedness to her that is a little bit similar but with corin it's just like it's also matched with a slightly dull personality i feel like corin went to art school i feel like corin is a really good artist i feel like she has a deviant art account which is like low-key super fire she has a portfolio that she's been you know trying to give to people and like get like get their opinions on professionally and like it just doesn't work out i feel like corin has like low-key the most banging art portfolio that i've ever seen and I want to get her to commission something for me because I'm just like, I, I want to support you. I want to support you because you have what it takes. Corn will stay at a solid B tier. Kalita, I think that's how you pronounce her name. 
Colita. Solid C. No, I'd say a B. Her hair, absolutely explosive. Which actually, you know what? Let's 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 put her let's put her up a little bit over Andy. I like her overall design more than Andy. She's got this like fiery just obviously she's a fire user right fiery personality going on with her the eye patch the single eye patch i think is a really neat aesthetic um and then just the uh just the way that her hair kind of like goes out in this like all literally almost looking like a flame is behind her i love it and also the combination of the two weapons that she uses being for this little dainty character i think is really neat i like it a lot and then the bear ears i think it's just really cute considering that she works alongside a bear this is a solid b tier design honestly i think she's top of b tier i think i think she's the best b tier character that we've got colita looks like she was that kid that asked you if you had games on your phone and then if you said no she got really 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 mad and then she just looked at your phone anyways and you, you just had to like take it back and then she threw a temper tantrum that's what kalita gives off whenever i see her and then like she went through a phase she was learning everything that there was to know about bears and then like you would go to a zoo and then like as the guide was like going and then talking about the animal she'd be like well actually and while she might think that it's cool and her parents might think that it's cool all of the people that were also on the trip were also like what is happening you can you can know your animals moderation right the next character that we unlocked the ice queen herself sukaku i really like her design i love her personality i think she's so she's a definitely a solid b i'd honestly place her above anton her design is great i love the horns i don't know if they describe what race of creature she is in the game if you do know that why don't you leave a comment down below everything from like the blue jacket that she's got going on she's a character who does resemble the element that she's using which i think is really cool she's also got this like carefree personality you know she's doing like the like the mm, like going on right there sukaku looks like she'd be a blast i feel like she would take me to water parks she would throw me into the deep end every time because she just wanted to go on the craziest things imaginable she would be the type of person to be like do you want to go deep sea diving and then just like absolutely just go right into it she's probably a surfer she probably likes to vacation in california and just go to the beach and just start you know surfing the wave uh which is you know respectable respectable i don't share that um but you know to each their own she's a water girl obviously she's a water girl and so you gotta you gotta let her live by the ocean you can't you can't put her in the midwest you can't put her in the desert you gotta you gotta let her swim some people you gotta let them just like just go glug glub and just swim swim away her weapon being just literally this flag that she uses i really like a lot we'll place her at a solid b tier let's move on to our friend our queen absolute lovely grace and I'm gonna put her at a solid A tier. Now, I know that people will not agree with this. People are not going to like this decision. People are going to be up in arms. And I, I say to you, look at her simplicity. Look at her beauty. Look at everything that exudes from her. Look at her gun that she just uses and just chucks grenades like it's nobody's business. She's absolutely amazing. Um, and, the, and the goggles, if anime has taught me anything, it's that if you wear goggles, you are the protag. You had a tragic backstory. You probably had a scene in your flashback where you're sitting on a swing because you're so alone and nobody cared about you. That's what I get when I see those goggles. I see history and there's lore behind those goggles. And I want to find out where that lore is. Grace? Grace is just... She just feels like she'd be my best friend. Unlike Billy and Nicole, I feel like I can get in the hijinks with Grace and I wouldn't get in trouble. And I'd have a great time. I feel so good about myself at the end. But then I also feel like she's a really good listener as well. Or like she is really empathetic. Sometimes you'll tell her something, it'll be really emotional, but then she'll start crying before you start crying. And then you're like, why are you crying? I'm not crying. You shouldn't be crying. And she's like, I just feel really bad. And because whatever you're going through is so rough that I just, it just hurts me inside. It's like, okay. So people will not agree with this. But I stand my Queen Grace, and she will remain in her A rank where she so rightfully belongs. And then lastly, we've got our boy Ben. I love this man. Absolute king level energy right now. I think he's B. I think he's B. I think that he's good. Or I think his weapon's cool. I think his weapon is really cool. Because uh, I was like, yeah. I think his design as just a giant anthropomorphic bear that just goes in wrecking face. And then his chain attacks with Kalita, I think are really cool. Um... He's a, he's a solid B tier for me. He, he also looks like the type of character where like, he will check in on you. He will call you after college and he'll be like, hey man, I just want to make sure you're okay. You doing good? And then I'd be like, you know what, Ben? I don't know, but thank you for checking in on me. I really appreciate that. Ben's that guy. 
he's that guy that takes care of his friends after they're no longer together. Ben, Ben's a solid B tier. You know who's not a B tier? This woman right here. I'm putting her in C tier. We got Soldier 11. She's okay. She's gonna be she's gonna be C tier. She is going to be absolutely C tier. I think she is very middle of the road. I feel like she reminds me too much of Ambi when you look at her side by side, and I just like Ambi better. I think overall vibes, I think that she's she's got cool things with her. I also do not like her goggles that are going on here. Um, you know, we just talked about goggles being main character energy, but here's the thing. In no time where we ever have our characters using goggles, are they wearing them on their face? You might say, well, what about Obito from Naruto? Yeah, Obito also died. So what does that say? We don't put the goggles on our face. And debatably, the only time where Obito was good was when he took the goggles off and he put them on his head because then he unlocked a Sharingan. And so she needs to get those goggles put on her head, develop that main character energy, and then she might be a low B. But until then, she'll be a high C. Soldier 11 reminds me of that one friend in school where you did not like them. And you didn't like them because they were the person who asked when a teacher forgot to check the homework. They were the ones that said, oh, excuse me, miss. Um, You forgot to check the homework for today and I have it ready to give to you. And you're, you're just like, I want to chuck you out a window like apps like right 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 there right there right you see that there there's a there's a there's a glass door and then you can push it aside and then there's a balcony and you can toss them out of it that's her her no enjoyment no fun i feel like if i invited her over the thing that she would want to do is like do something educational do something that's gonna benefit me in the long term of life and i'm not about that yet and again i don't i don't think that she's bad i just think that you know there's a better person for her than me i don't know if i want want her around me but you know who we are vibing with the last three on this list who i have not unlocked yet and i am dying so desperately to unlock let's start with the icon himself like in solid a tier solid a tier first of all his design like look at him he's amazing just straight furry icon going on here absolute immaculate level energy he's also got this like dark energy he kind of has like the kanaki mask from tokyo ghoul going on like the one-eyed stuff going i don't want to show you the dark side of me i'm better for you than edward type vibe going you know like he's just like exuding this level of like ferocity it's all it's kind of alluring honestly not gonna lie it's kind of it's kind of like like let's go like what you got going on hmm you want to go out for dinner? My attraction to furry animals aside, I feel like he's got a banger Spotify playlist. Like, you know, there, there's just people that when you look at them, you're like, I think that you're into some really like indie, like good stuff. I feel like he's got that going on for him. And I would want him to share that Spotify playlist with me every single week that it updates. Like his Discover Weekly has got to be popping. Rena, and honestly, A, high A, I'm placing her like, like she could be the top of A. Look at her, look at her, like, everything about her now granted let's let's keep in mind we we'll replace the other maid in b tier what she has is this appearance of just like she's a little bit more dainty than the other characters she's not as hardcore as ambi or soldier 11. she's got this like carefree attitude going on rena looks like she would just tell you the best bedtime story in the world tuck you in kiss you on the forehead and then just like the moment that she like closes the door She's ready to like fight like a thousand demons. Do you do you get that vibe? Do you see like like she has this very soft persona to her? I feel like behind it is just a level of psychotic where she is going to destroy anything in her path for the people that she cares about. And I wouldn't want it any other way. Burn the world for me because I'm worth it. Is that destructive? Is that bad personality? Would it would it be bad to coerce somebody? You know, who knows? I think she would do it though. And then she's also going to wreck face. Also the weapon she uses, her little dolls, I think are really cool too. And then just look at the, look at the flow of her dress. Look at, from top down, she's just beautiful. And the hair, the way that that extends, I think that, that looks really nice. Honestly, 100% A tier material right there. And now, last but not least, we have our friend Ellen. And Ellen, I believe, is another strong A tier design. Ellen reminds me of this coworker that I had who was older than the rest of the people that I was working with. And she hated life, but she was still a joy to be around. Like, she was still fun. And she was a little bit rude. And then she also, like, is just, like, super into the punk rock scene. Like, there's, there's no doubt about it. Like, this girl is bleeding punk rock she was listening to paramore like day one all i wanted was you and i screamed back all i wanted was her and then she didn't want me back she is definitely giving off that that 
mid 2000s punk rock vibe in spades when i first saw her she was the first character that i wanted to unlock she's got this attitude going on she's part shark which i never seen in a video game i think and yeah she's just she's just overall i mean like the weapon that she uses like oh, it's so cool out of our a tier who takes the s tier spot just off of pure raw unadulterated vibes i put billy i think that these two characters are beautiful and they're not as they're not as piercing as as nicole they're not as well dressed and eloquently designed but they're but they're good they're solid i think i'm gonna stick with them i think we'll end the list there I, are there soldier 11 fans do you exist that's gonna round out our list uh again if you disagree that's totally fine because it's just off of vibes it's just off of design it's just off of how we feel and if you feel differently Let's feel that together. And so write it down, down below. And then we'll talk about it. What do you think? Who is your S tier? Who is your, who is your Grace? Who is your Billy? Write your thoughts down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. See ya.